standing on Mobile's Government Street at the intersection of Michigan Avenue. In 1901, George Leatherberry, who had made a fortune in timber and lumber, built a beautiful Queen Anne house behind me. The house was home to Mr. Leatherberry, his wife Lucy, and their 12 children. According to the 1910 census, they were also living with a full-time baby nurse, a maid, and a cook. In 1912, their daughter Lucy was asked to be Queen of Mobile's Mardi Gras. In fact, to give you an idea of how elegant this stretch of Government Street was, in the block I'm standing in, there were at least four monarchs of Mobile's Carnival in those years. The Leatherberries lived here on with the children. In 1926, unfortunately, Mr. Leatherberry passed away, and his wife lived here until her death in 1948. The house is listed in the 1949 city directory as being vacant. The address does not appear again until a group of doctors in the 1950s had the property turned into a set of offices for their uses. Today those buildings still stand, although there are no doctor's offices within.